This is the Merlot. Um, I think me and Litzka, we, we, we're not really fans of Merlot. No, I know she wanted to say it, but um, I always make this <laughs> joke to people. There was a slogan, oh, Merlot, can you go? Yes. So we don't like it so much. But this wine is, we never, we were not saying we're going to make a normal Merlot. We want to make something that's really exceptional. Because if you look in the south of France, in the yes. Pomerol area, they do this Bordeaux blend that's one of the best wines in the world, and then mm. it's 95% Merlot. So Merlot is not a bad cultivar. It's not, people always see Merlot as a blend cultivar, but it's a cultivar that can stand alone. It is. And that's what we've done. I think we gave Merlot identity, made it yes. an awesome wine, big, bold, es great wine. Especially with this vintage, I feel like, it's not that I don't like Merlot, it's just always I had a problem like with where do I fit in Merlot, and even with blind tastings, I always struggled with identifying it, but this one, Honestly, I tell people, all my friends as well, I say, this is one of my favorite ones we ever made, and it's a Merlot, and it's just so beautiful. I mean, the nose on it, I think this, when, when you learn, people always say like, oh, but Merlot is like the smoother, people always are so, the people that don't always drink wine, always like, no, but you always buy Merlot, because it's so easy to drink, and I never thought about that, but this is not an easy drinking wine, it's a big wine. No, this is a exceptional wine, it's, it's, that, it's a standalone wine. Mm. It's not for the, normally, as you said, Merlot is, for guys who want to start you drinking red, it's not, but yeah. it's not. And um, as you said, all the vintages, I just think every year it's getting better. The, the grapes are really yes. old. They're about 28 years old now. Yes. And they're only starting now to come to their right. Um, and we were spoiled again for this past three, four years. With the last, uh, yeah. yeah, low yields and the quality was amazing. I think we're going to get spoiled for a long time now because the yields are only going to get lower for a long time. Yeah. The drought but, helped us. Yes, mm -hmm. but I never, like, when I started working here, Rudy never told me that our vineyards are actually really old. old. And the other day, we, I was just walking the vineyard and I looked at the day. All our wines, most of our red wines are actually like old vineyard wines. Mm. Like, at least 20, 30 years older, some of them. I think this might be. And, and when we make this, we um, take a Part of this, we open for mint, yes. and then the rest um, is it's in a normal stainless steel tank. We cold soak it for quite a while yes, as well. Yes, really long, and then we go into barrel. We don't want to keep it too long in the barrel. Uh, we, we taste it after a year. Sometimes it goes up to 18 months, and yeah, sometimes 14 months, months, 30 yes. months. Yeah, it, it depends. Um, but when it's our idea is from 12 months, taste it every month, and yes. then we'll decide. We don't have a recipe. No, no. So, um, and we always, it's all our barrels are mostly French oak, but every now and again we put some American oak, like one or two in, in a big blend. I think this one might have had one barrel. Yeah, and the um, yes. other thing about this is also that um, new wood, we don't like to put too much new wood on a Merlot, no. but this is about the third. So it's about 30% of the, yes. yeah, the wood. Like our Shiraz and stuff, we put a lot of new wood, but yeah, the yeah. we don't, we don't use all We want to preserve the fruit. Fruit, yes. That's what they want to do with it.